Hi, this is Yukio Ishizuka from Lifetrack.com. Today's subject is how to cure psychosomatic symptoms without drugs in six months or less. Now, what is psychosomatic symptoms? In essence, it is a mind's warning signal trying to tell us that all is not well. It's an ind indirect and coded message to protect ourselves from farther harm. Now, physical symptoms is best understood as one of the five layers of defense or warning signals that is provoked as the uh, challenge mounts and reaches and exceeds the threshold of our tolerance. It starts with anxiety, followed by anger, and then physical sim symptoms will join. And then if that is not enough, depression and psychosis would uh, also manifest. These are to force us to pay attention and drop everything and mobilize to cope with the important problem that we may not be clearly recognizing. Now, cause of somatic, psychosomatic symptoms is the same as the rest of stress symptoms such as anxiety, anger, depression, and psychosis. It is provoked by ch challenges in life that is more than the mind can cope with that exceeds the past experience and current capability to cope at the threshold. The warning signal is trying to, to force us to pay attention and mobilize our resources to overcome the challenge, hopefully to break through. Now, what is psychosomatic disorder? Now, it can be described as mind's warning signal gone underground and also out of control. It manifests through Autonom autonomic nervous system which is outside of central nervous system that is accessible to our consciousness or our awareness and it is experienced as external or outside problems such as a body problem sickness and for that reason it could be more compelling to some and also more acceptable or perhaps convenient as the warning signal for some now personality, the way the person thinks, feels, and acts about oneself, and in close relationship of commitment such as in marriage or uh, comparable relationship, or achievement such as productive creative activities, work, uh, challenging activities, and so on, uh, define, the personality defines or determines where and how our warning signal is triggered. The question is, how can we raise the threshold by transforming personality? Because if the threshold is raised, the warning signal will become unnecessary and disappear, which actually happens in the course of successful treatment. But the first step is to define personality in such ways that it can be measured frequently in a consistent basis. And it has to be graphically tracked and interpreted, analyzed uh, via computer and internet. And we must concentrate resources to make a breakthrough in intimacy sphere first and allow self and achievement to stagnate for a while and then eventually recover and catch up with the intimacy at the higher level. That process of personality transformation typically goes through four stages. The first stage is characterized by relatively preserved intimacy compared to self and achievement, typically in collapse, and high stress symptoms, black line. Second stage is when intimacy alone rises above previous maximum of 10, in this case reaching 25, while self and achievement continue to stagnate, occasionally dipping, absorbing rising uh, wave, waves of symptom peaks until symptom dissipates and disappear when self and achievement begins to rise above 10 and eventually catches up in this case at 40, four times higher than the previous maximum according to his own self-assessment and from that point on the fourth stage uh, self intimacy and achievement spheres continue to rise together with little or no therapeutic uh, intervention. Now, Sophie was a typical case of dramatic psychosomatic symptoms. She was married uh, uh, to a very successful businessman 
who worked a day and night uh, on one or two hours of sleep a day, and she was very worried that he may break down. And she was in her 40s and known as a cheerful, sociable, res responsible, and capable person. But she was the one who broke down the dramatic symptoms first. The sharp pain in the right flank, and then severe pain in the head and the back, and penetrating sharp pain in the right eye, and she was exhausted, irritable, and distracted. And by the time she came to see me, she has seen four specialists, uh, having gone through exhaustive tests and examinations. She came with a long list of symptoms on a daily uh, fluctuation of symptoms for one previous month. Now, life track therapy of Safi developed as follows. First, her husband was persuaded to participate in therapy, which he did, and no medication was used, although both of them suffered dramatically high stress symptoms. And the therapy focused exclusively on bringing them closer together, guided by daily self-rating on 41 parameters at the end of the day, and the graphic traffic over the internet, and weekly session lasting two hours was maintained for six months. Now, Sophie's dramatic symptoms disappeared within 10 days, virtually disappeared, and the first to go was psychosis bloodline, and red was depression, and uh, physical symptoms, which was her principal chief complaint, also diminished and, uh, to, to uh, two, and uh, anxiety and physical symptom were only two symptoms that remained at the end of the 10th day. Now, during that first 10 days, her progress shows her intimacy struggling its way up, pushing up the invisible ceiling of resistance, and nine, and then finally broke through previous maximum of 10. At that time, her symptom also disappeared. Now, by the end of the first months, the symptom had one recurrence. Now, on September 14th, as you can see, anxiety spiked to five, physical symptoms came back, and then symptoms seem to diminish even more. Now, what happened on September 14th is interesting. Her intimacy was approaching and breaking through 20, twice as high as previous maximum. And right after that, the symptom diminished even farther and disappeared again. And self and achievement were reaching already 15 or 16. By the end of the fourth month, her intimacy was reaching about 50 and self and achievement were catching up with it. There was one more resurgence of symptoms coinciding with her intimacy approaching and breaking through 40, four times higher. Now, therapy was successfully concluded, and that depended, the success depended on four conditions. The first, the patient is suffering enough, thus motivated to change. An appropriate partner was available and the three-way teamwork was maintained for several months and guided by daily self-rating graphs by both of them. Another imp uh, important observation was that the patient with partners did four times better than those without partners, measured in terms of percentage of patients exceeding their previous best adjustment of 10, 15.2% versus 61.4%. Numbers of patients, 342 singles, 871 couples or patient with partners and outcome also jumped after the first months after the first months the patient with partners 77.3% uh, reached 10 or above and 83.4% when they persisted beyond second months and 86.6% reached or exceeded 10 score 10 uh, when they per persisted beyond three months. If you are interested uh, in this form of treatment, please call or visit the lifetrack.com uh, website for more information. Thank you for your attention. Until next time.